Coming up on 649, now time for the morning rush. Two people are waking up behind bars this morning. This comes after APD says that the duo led them on a chase through the metro. 18-year-old Nico Starr and his girlfriend, 20-year-old Kelsey Medina, along with three other passengers. They took off after police tried to stop their car. APD chased the car along eastbound I-40 before it was finally stopped with a spike strip behind the Elvado Motel on Central. A man charged with a murder three years ago will begin his trial tomorrow. Jesus Javier Torres Jr. is accused of murdering Raymond Lovato. It came after a dispute back in September 2020. PCSO found Lovato shot to death at his home near 2nd and Paseo, and deputies say that they were able to trace Torres' cell phone to Lovato's place at the time of the murder. The investigation continues from the state fire marshal into a large fire that broke out at a grocery store in Clovis. Clovis police say that the crews responded to the fire just after 3.30 yesterday morning. That was at Walmart. The store has now been shut down, and those needing prescriptions will have to go to the Portales Walmart. Erica. And here's a look at our hourly forecast through today. We'll be seeing temperatures in the mid-70s by 10 o'clock, low 80s by the early afternoon, and climbing to right around 90 degrees today with abundant sunshine. People and businesses around the metro, they are being affected as the Rio Grande is drying out once again in spots throughout the city. Back in May, the Rio Grande was charted as being more than six and a half feet deep. However, its latest depth has been marked as just over a foot. Now, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service said that they are organizing efforts to rescue endangered silver, silvery minnows. One of the world's largest wind and solar development companies has now broke ground on a new transmission line in rural New Mexico. Pattern Energy recently received authorization from the U.S. Department of Interior that was to begin the Sun Zia transmission project. Developers say that it will be able to transport more than 3,500 megawatts of wind energy to 3 million people. A program in Santa Fe is now hoping to help more four-legged friends get ready for forever homes. That's with a unique training program. Española Humane's Paws in the Pen program allows inmates at the state pen to train rescue dogs for an eight-week period. Because of its success, more inmates are able to take part, now expanding to a total of 14 trainers enrolled. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index today. It is fairly low, but we'll see breezy winds and high fire danger in northeast New Mexico. What well, happening today, there is one last chance to check out the Harvest Wine Festival in Albuquerque. A ticket will get you the chance to check out more than 200 different wines from New Mexico wineries. The event is also featuring food, music, and games. It's going to be from noon until 6 this evening at Balloon Fiesta Park. One man from Hobbs is now getting ready to compete at the World Fitness Championships. 50-year-old Herbert Hawkmeyer says that it all began when he was just 15 years old, and since then he has dedicated most of his life to bodybuilding. Hawkmeyer is going to be fi flying out to uh, Berlin on October 31st, it's with a competition taking place on November the 5th. A number of closures around the metro are going to be happening in observance of the Labor Day holiday. Most Albuquerque City offices are going to be closed, as well as community centers, ABQ Ride, senior meal sites, and libraries. Trash will be collected, and the biopark, along with city pools and golf courses, are going to be open. For a full list of the closures, you can head to krqe.com. Erica. And here's a look at traffic. The roads are clear, no accidents or slowdowns. And here's a look at Tracker heading north on I-25 near the, bi the Big Eye, and everything is moving up to speed. A retired officer in Denver is continuing his ongoing mission of collecting model police cars. Henry Jones has a massive collection of roughly 9,000 cars. Jones started collecting the vehicles when he was five years old. Now in his collection, you can see cop cars, motorcycles, and helicopters from all over the world. Pretty cool. Time now for the five facts. At number five, you still have one last chance to check out the Harvest Wine Festival. A ticket will get you the chance to check out more than 200 different wines from New Mexico wineries. The event also features local food, live music, and games. If you weren't able to make it over the weekend, it will be going on today from noon until 6. At number four this morning, we have the story here with it being Labor Day. There's going to be a number of closures around the metro in observance of the holiday. Most Albuquerque City offices are going to be closed, as well as community centers, ABQ Ride, senior meal sites, and libraries. Trash will be collected, and the biopark, along with city pools and golf courses, are going to be open. Meanwhile, in Rio Rancho, all city offices and facilities will be closed. Then in Santa Fe, trash and recycling will not be collected. And number three, it's going to be a hot and breezy day with highs to 90 degrees and winds gusting up to around 30 miles per hour coming in from the west. At number two, the Rio Grande is starting to dry out in Albuquerque again, affecting people and businesses. Now, back in May, the river hit a peak of more than six and a half feet deep. Well, now its latest depth is being marked as just over a foot. 
Last month, water managers at the Middle Rio Grande Conservancy Districts predicted the possibility of the Rio Grande going dry near Albuquerque in anticipation of declining water levels. U the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service said they are organizing efforts to rescue endangered silvery minnows. And at number one, two people are waking up behind bars this morning after Albuquerque police say that the duo led them on a chase through the metro. 18-year-old Nico Starr and his girlfriend, 20-year-old Kelsey Medina, along with three other passengers, they took off after police tried to stop their car. APD chased the car along eastbound I-40 before it was finally stopped with a spike strip. That was behind the Elvado Motel on Central. Police say the star had accused a woman of stealing his wallet at a party on Friday night, then broke into her home with his friends on Saturday, stealing a PlayStation, vandalizing her car, and then firing shots at the home where, she, where the car was located. Rather, Both star and Medina are now facing charges for aggravated burglary and shooting at an occupied dwelling, among other charges.